Guys, this tutorial is the continuation of built-in string function in Python. In today's video, we will learn new function that is rfind function in Python. I am using editor PyCharm and Python version 3.12 is installed on my computer. So let's get started with our today's tutorial. What is rfind function? rfind function returns the rightmost index of the substring if found in the given string. If it is not found, then it returns minus one. Okay. So we have simple a string which is printed right here. Okay. If I use s1 dot r find, you will find the documentation of this function which says substring. Okay. It is the substring that needs to be searched in the given string. Okay. Second parameter, it is saying starting position where the substring needs to be checked within the string. Okay. And and position where suffix needs to be checked within the string okay and what it returns it returns integer which means it will return a index of the position of the substring okay so let's try to find out one string okay let me take is word right this this string what is the index of this string and if you print result you will see the index is 7 right it is starting from 7th index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 right so this is the purpose of our find function which returns the rightmost index if you put is here right then you will get a different index right you see 24 because as per the definition of this function it is saying it will return a rightmost index of the substring okay this okay so this is clear one important note here if start and end indexes are not provided right start and end right these not provided then by default it takes zero and length minus one as a end okay so here we have not provided any start or end value so let's use these arguments i want to start from zero okay and I want it to stop at somewhere 50. Okay. Then you will see the different index this time, right? If you run the program, so you will see this is 7 now because from where we want to start and till which index we want to check this substring. So in this range 0 to 15, we will get only this substring, not this. If I use another is, right? in this range so then this time it will give you different right 12 because right most index it will return on basis of this range let's check one different case if we don't find any word like that so what it will return if you're in the program so is is not there right so it will return minus one okay so this word is not exist in this entire string that is why it is returning minus one okay otherwise it will return exact index of the substring i have a real time scenario where this rfind function can be useful for you right we get developer many a times we need to check email id's domain name domain name is gmail.com microsoft.com amazon.com these are domains right sometimes if you are asking user to input email id and you want to check which domain it is in the email id so this function may help you right I have one code handy to save some time. You can see this is email, right? For example, we are asking user to input email. But in the email, we want to check which domain name user is providing. If it is our domain, then we will allow user to input. Otherwise, we will ask user to change the email ID, right? So here what we are doing, this is the email ID user is inputting somewhere, right? And with the help of our find function, we are finding the index from where domain is getting started, right? We have the position domain index and from domain index, we are doing some slicing, right? We are finding then this string, right? After this symbol, we are finding complete string, okay? Once we get this complete string, then we are checking whether this is our domain or not in this. If it is our domain, then we will say domain matched. Otherwise, it will say no domain is not matched. Okay, let me run, run this program. 
you see domain match means the email id which we are providing actually it is containing the domain microsoft.com okay if you want to check what domain index it is returning you will understand it and even i want to print domain as well right if you run the program again so it will first tell you okay the index is starting from fifth right from where we are getting domain right so this is the index 0 1 2 3 4 5 right from fifth index we are getting the domain which means right we are getting this index with the help of our find function okay and what is the domain the domain is this right we applied some slicing here right on basis of this index from fifth start from fifth and reaches up to end of the string so this is a slicing criteria here right and we are getting the domain from the email so this is a domain now we are checking whether this domain is equal with our expected domain or not then it is showing domain matched otherwise it is showing domain not matched for example let me input gmail.com then message would be changed because condition will be dissatisfied okay you see domain gmail dot not matched okay okay so sometimes this type of code we implement on our applications and we we need to check the domain name and you can use this r find function in that scenarios so this is r find function which may help you in your applications development you can use it that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video